Yo guys, what is up? C-Ray back with another video and today we're doing a home video and I'm going to show you guys how you can increase your pull-ups with different exercises that I used when I was working out from home to increase my pull-ups to over 10. There is an exercise in here for everyone so make sure you watch until the end to find your exercise that you should be doing if you've got a pull-up bar at home and you want to increase them. So let's get into it. Okay, so the very first exercise and the most easy one that you guys should be doing is dead hangs and this is what it should look like. So all you want to do is literally, I'll come this way, all you want to do is hold on to the pull up bar like this and that's it. All you want to do is just hold. Relax your back, relax your arms, make sure they are straight, don't bend them like this, just literally hang down and you can bend your knees if you're too long for the floor. And this is mainly to increase your grip strength, guys, so that when you get onto the pull-ups, you're able to potentially do more pull-ups because sometimes your back and your lats are stronger than your arms and your grip strength. So to make sure we can do as many pull-ups as possible, we wanna make sure that our grip strength is on point. So I would recommend trying to aim to hold on to the bar for at least a minute. And every week you can time yourself and try to beat your score each week. So maybe on week one, you'll get one minute, Week two, you might get one minute 10, one minute 15, etc., and this is gonna increase your grip strength, guys. So I definitely recommend including dead hangs into your routine, especially if you've only got access to a pull-up bar at home. Okay, guys, so the next exercise is gonna be scapular pull-ups, and these are gonna look like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the back this time, and I'm not gonna talk until we're done because you won't be able to hear me, so let's go. Okay guys, so you just saw what that looks like. That is scapular pull-ups. And you can bend your knees for this one too if your body is too long for your room or wherever you're hanging your pull-up bar from. But scapular pull-ups are such a good movement and I still do these before every single pull-up set because not only does it warm up my back for back day and just pull-ups in general, but getting stronger at scapular pull-ups is gonna get you stronger at pull-ups, guys, because when you do a pull-up, before you do the pull-up, you need to engage that scapula in order to get the best possible form to perform the pull-ups. And some of you guys might be thinking, how do I engage my scapula? And it's very, very simple, guys. All you guys have to do with the scapula pull-up is make sure that you're hanging like the dead hang, and then all you wanna do is just lift your chest up like so, and back down again. And your neck should come out a little bit, and you'll see, just like this, how I'm doing it. So, you wanna hang, and you just wanna go up like this, do not bend your arms at all. Keep them as straight as possible. And just use your back to pull yourself up. Don't use your arms, guys. Okay, so that is such a good move because it does help with pull-ups and it also helps with things like front levers and stuff like that. And that leads me into the next exercise that you guys need to be doing if you've only got access to a pull-up bar at home or you just wanna increase your pull-ups in general. And that is gonna be pull-up negatives, but also we're gonna mix in jumping pull-up negatives too, because they do link to each other, guys. Okay, so first off, the negative pull-up is gonna look like this, and you're gonna to wanna to have a platform up, or you can jump up, but I'll show you guys that one in a minute. So, what you wanna do, guys, up to the top of the rep, up to the top of the movement, and just come down as slow as you possibly can. And repeat. With that one, you wanna kind of make sure that you're already starting at the top of the rep, and if you're not tall enough to get up there pretty quick, then you can just use a little step or a platform, whatever, maybe some books, just be careful. Okay, with the jumping one, it's the same thing. All you're doing is jumping up to the top of that rep and then coming down as slow as you can again. And doing these two exercises is really gonna increase your pull-ups, guys, because you're focusing on the negative and mastering the negative of any single movement is eventually gonna give you the positive for that movement. So if you master that negative pull-up, and by master, I mean doing it as slow as you can, literally as slow as you can, then you've mastered it and you will be able to do a full pull-up. Another thing you guys can do is use resistance band. All you wanna do is flip it onto the bar, tie it up, 
put your feet in the resistance band and just pull yourself up and this is going to take away a lot of weight from your body so it's not going to feel as hard to do the pull up and eventually you can make the band thinner and thinner and thinner until you get to eventually nothing and no band. Okay, now let's move on to the final thing that you guys can do if you're trying to increase your pull-ups. And at this point, you should be able to do pull-ups. And if you can't, then just do the other exercises. But if you can do pull-ups at this point and you're still trying to increase them, then make sure you do this. My first point is to make sure that you're switching up the variations, guys. Because if you get used to doing normal pull-ups, guys, then you're not gonna be challenging that muscle and challenging yourself, ultimately staying in the same position. You always wanna be challenging yourself with new variations that you can do. And for instance, if you wanna challenge yourself, do something like this. So, start off with normal pull-ups. And then you can move on to wide. And then you can even do close grip pull-ups, guys. And you can do sets like that just to vary up the exercise, guys, and make sure that you're targeting all areas of the back, which is gonna lead to more strength in the back, enabling you to get more normal pull-ups. And if you guys wanna get really saucy with it, then you can add in some more exercises, such as these. The idea, guys, is that you're trying to target all areas of your back to increase your overall pulling strength. And if you only have access to a pull-up bar and want to increase them pull-ups, then varying up the exercises is gonna make a huge, huge difference. And I definitely experienced a massive strength increase when I started switching up the variation on my pull-ups. Okay, and that is it for this short and sweet video on how to increase your pull-ups from home or anywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed how concise and easy this video was to understand. Hopefully you did actually understand something. If you did, make sure to like and also subscribe for more daily calisthenics, fitness, home workouts and bodyweight content. Love every single one of you guys and see you in the next one. Peace.